it's been a day. I just want to tell you. Oh. <clears throat> Let me check my messages. Okay. Uh. Oh, I have to return this message. Someone is calling. Hello? Sorry, who is this? Yes, sorry. Sister who? Oh, Sister Agnes. How are you? Good evening. How are the family? Yes, yes. No, I'm okay. I'm just a bit tired. It's been a long day. I'm just sitting down for a while. God has been so faithful. Mm. Okay. Yeah, I have a minute to spare. Go on. Yes, what about him? Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I remember. I remember I called you as well during the remote learning that he has not been coming to class. But yeah, he came in, he came in once, he came in once. Yeah, throughout the remote learning, he came in once. You know, we're going back to, we're going back to actual learning now in April 12th, the 12th, after the Easter break. Oh, good, you're aware. Okay. He's not motivated. You couldn't get him to, to do anything, even the, during the remote learning. And what do you think is the cause? Yeah, um, well, a lot is going on at the moment, you know. So, and I know the situation is daunting to the students as well. So, yeah. You can't get him to do anything. Okay. Always on his game. In his room. Okay. And now, do you, what do you do to address the situation? Uh, you took the game from Mimi White. And she, you went white. <laughs> and what again? Okay, you didn't, you didn't. You've been praying. So you went back to go and he was crying widely and then you went to your room to collect his game and he refused to talk to you since then. As a man, you can't do that. Well, sorry, sorry to say that. Okay. Is it the one that is not taking the prayer fast or you're not giving it to him? You'll be at work. You normally made it before you went to go to work. But you didn't make it because you are you are you are, you are, you are, you are unhappy with him. And hasn't been taking the breakfast. What about his lunch? He did take that. And were you able to settle him down after that? No. Okay. So what efforts are you trying to motivate him? Ah, well, really, I do not know, or I just think that at times you don't use negative reaction to correct negative behavior. What does he really like doing? You like playing Monopoly with you? Oh, wow. And when was the last time you played with him? I know the earth workers are very busy on off and on, in and out the door. 
so you didn't have that time to play with them. No. You think it's done mentally or emotionally? Uh, would you be able to take maybe some time off work to just sit him down and play the um, to play the monopoly with him maybe once or twice to neutralize the situation and see if that is going to work? Yeah, I heard you. Yeah, 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 yeah you've said that uh, you've been praying. Prayer is very, very good. Prayer is very, very good. We cannot do the prayer is the key in everything we do. But then, you, you know, um, there's a place of prayer, there's a place of physical, there's a place of psychology and uh, emotional and um, all this. You need to balance them up, you know. You need to, maybe once you play that monopoly with them, maybe twice or three times, or three times with them, and then maybe make sure you fix this mind very fast before you go, you know. And that doesn't mean that you should not... Um, you should condole any bad behavior or to neutralize the situation that you are on or uh, you have at the moment. I would say maybe the best way to go about it is to just, um, if I were you, this is what I would do. I would play the monopoly within and I'll, I'll get closer to see what's going on in his heart. He's blocking up. But since he like you know, you just identify he likes playing monopoly with you. That would be a way to actually get it to him because once you play with him and give him in that attention, maybe he's just seeking attention, then he'll be able to get what is going on in his heart. And then from knowing that what is going on, you know where you target your prayer. And you pray along while you're looking after the physical, the emotional, and the psychology effect. You're praying as well. Prayer is very, very key, but we don't want to pray amiss. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I think I think I had this the same conversation with uh, our parents, um, which you know we just was getting reports about his child behavior in the school, inappropriate behavior, and as they mentioned that inappropriate behavior, it's just it's just saying blood of Jesus, I rebook it, I rebook it, I rebook it. It is well, God be helped. We all know that God be help our children, and there's prayer is very very important. Or the area that the area identified have to be looked after so that we not pray amiss so that our prayer will not be like i've been praying god i've been fasting why is my prayer not being answered over my children over my child we just have to know the area and we just have to you know identify that particular area by contacting them you know and i mean addressing that issue identify that particular area then the prayer will be answered. And then if our inappropriate behavior is being discussed, um, I think it should be addressed. We cannot just leave that child and say, okay, um, I'm going to take that in prayer and say, Lord of Jesus, and, um, and that we might be praying and miss in that area. Might be Jesus Christ is the Lord, and then our life is supposed to be an example. And so there's a place of prayer, and then there's a place of um, correcting the bad behavior so that everything will be aligned together. Hopefully, maybe after this, you, you might see some some changes in, in his life positively, and then we're looking forward to see him back um, to actual class the twelfth of um, April. No, no problem. I am glad. I'm glad. I'm glad to hear that from you. Ah, uh, no, no, no. You're fine. So we take the time off. Yeah, I think I think you really look at it that way. You no, know, use the positive reaction to change that negative behavior. We might say change, and then we key that into prayer because prayer is the key that we have to pay our rights. Thank you, Sister Agnes, and I'll talk to you later on. I better go now because my food is waiting for me. Bye. God bless you. Bye. Bye. Oh, let me go and hit. I'm so tired and fat out. It's been a morning.